Welcome everyone to today's practice. Today's practice is Savasana. As we relax the body, taking some big deep breaths to calm the mind and the nervous system. Feeling the stomach and the chest and the neck with air and a smooth exhalation. Palms are face down today to feel grounded and connected with the earth. I just want you to have some awareness today. If you find that you get an itch rather than automatically going to scratch it. Instead, get curious about it. Bring your awareness to it. And then try and hold off scratching and seeing if it just goes away. And you'll notice that your thoughts might take over to distract you from the itch. But quite often it's such an automatic reaction. We want to break that pattern if we can. And just have that childlike curiosity around things like itchiness. But as you lay there in this relaxed state, I want to bring your attention to a topic that affects us all, and that is stress. And I'll read you some words out of BKS by Angar. His book, Light on Life. And while there has always been stress in the getting and spending of life, today we suffer so much culturally and personally created stress. The rat race has created much unnecessary tension both within and around us. Because of this fast life, we are neglecting the body and the mind. The body and mind are beginning to pull each other in opposite directions, dissipating our energy. We do not know how to recharge our batteries of energy and as a result we become careless and callous. We do not allow our mind to pause and think. We throw ourselves from one endeavour to another, believing that speed and momentum is all there is in life. Therefore, stress accumulates in the body, producing psychosomatic ailments from stomach ulcers to cardiac arrest. Emotional stresses imprint themselves on the physical, organic and neurological bodies, just as music is imprinted on a compact disc. We cannot eliminate stress and tension from our lives. That is not the point. Life is of itself stressful. What matters ultimately is how stress affects your nervous system. We have positive stress and negative stress.
and negative stress can be very harmful to the body. The key to overcoming stress is to calm and strengthen the nervous system. Our eyes are so close to the brain that their tension and jitteriness reflects how ragged the nerves have become through overload. Whether your purpose is simply health or health as a prelude to meditation, these disruptive patterns of energy that we call stress need to be pacified and eliminated from the body. Otherwise, progress towards the higher levels of yoga and the more harmonious ways of life will not come. The main causes of negative stress are anger, fear, speed, greed, unhealthy ambition and competition. The quest for inner peace and content contentment through yoga is the solution to the accumulation of stress that we experience in our lives. Yoga sana and pranayama help enormously with stress. But yoga offers a wider solution. Thinking that the practice of meditation alone is going to remove stress is not the answer. Only by learning how to relax the brain can one remove stress. And that is why Savasana is so paramount in the practice of yoga. And that is why I love to end most of my daily yoga practices with Savasana. It's a beautiful daily habit to get into and mastering the skill of quieting the brain does not come easy. Let's bring in some movement back into the body now, maybe stretching. And then when you're ready, rolling over to one side. I hope you enjoyed this practice today. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.